In every city, there's a road where a single typology is concentrated. Sometimes, the sense of competition is expressed through sheer accumulation of product, while other times, it is materialized in the architecture. Art museums on New York's Museum Mile, fashion labels on Tokyo's Omote Sando, bank headquarters on Hong Kong's Devo Road. Among the multitude of banks along this road, three stand out in particular HSBC, Bank of China, and Standard Chartered. Unlike the other banks, an open square in front gives them a high degree of visibility, highlighting the changes they undertake throughout the years. HSBC is the first to occupy the site at 1 Queens Road Central, having shared it with City Hall since the 1880s. In 1933, City Hall is relocated and the existing bank demolished to make room for a new and improved headquarters. Completed in 1935, the Art Deco building, designed by Palmer and Turner, becomes the city's first air conditioned building and the tallest at 220 feet. Made of steel structure, it is clad in granite, brick, and marble. A barrel vaulted ceiling of colored glass mosaic gives the public banking hall an atmosphere of grandeur. In 1950, the Bank of China moves on to the adjacent plot. And trumps its neighbor by 20 feet to become the city's new tallest building. Little did it know it would be superseded by the Chartered Bank only a few years later. Up until 1984, the three banks present a unified front, similar in both massing and materiality, against the changing urban fabric around them. But even the closest of companions can grow apart over time. HSBC launches an international competition to rethink the bank typology for a new era. British architect Norman Foster, the youngest of seven participants, wins the project. It had to carry the bank into the next century, and the only constant is change. So it had to respond to change, had to be flexible. The building rises steadily, overshadowing its two competitors. The decision to rebuild on the same site is strengthened by an unblocked view to the harbor. Standard Chartered also rebuilds on the existing site. Though marginally taller than HSBC, it has a much narrower facade. Its stepped profile and depth evident only from the northwest corner. The Bank of China, however, takes a different approach. A second office, designed by I.M. Pei, is built on a nearby site. Becomes the new headquarters. In scale, material, and relationship to context, the three banks are now marked more by their differences than their similarities. HSBC's ground level plaza creates a sense of transparency, its large central atrium visible through the glass underbelly below. The Bank of China building, now limited to private banking, is closed off from public access. With security guards posted by the intricate bronze doors. Standard Chartered, in contrast, is very public, linked to shopping malls, commercial offices, and the park by elevated walkway. Perhaps the best way architecture can respond to an ever changing context is by creating its own logic and casting aside preconceptions of how buildings work in order to move forward.